So this is didn't take me a time and I can't bring this to reality. Okay, and you scan here in URE video. So let's go ahead and model this port. So I just scanned it this with my phone. So the quality might be not the perfect one, but it's it can be great for taking the dimensions of the port. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is just going to insert a planner surface and then Go ahead and click apply, move it up a little, and I'm gonna try to take the first low polygons, and it's just this triangle shape. So it looks like this until here. Let me just turn on the transparency, and as you see, I just started to take the same look of this triangle with just one face and then I can easily insert some edges here and one on the middle okay so we have now the this triangle shape can add also one here and other one like this Okay, so this is the flat board, so this triangle here should be flat. So it should be flat like this, and I'm going to extrude it in a few seconds. So let's put it here, maybe here, something like that. And then I'm going to select these faces. Let me hide the reference mesh first and unhide it so I'm gonna select these faces let's hide this mesh and then copy hold this up and re-enable the reference mesh again and I'm gonna take these four faces try to fit it with this upper shape so it's, it's just something like this and okay something like that I'm gonna hide again delete this faces okay now this is the um, this is the the height of the part Maybe just start it from here and then I'm gonna pick the edge loop selection and select this edge and go to still back corners select this other edge and I'm gonna do this approach here and as you see this looks great let me just go back I don't need this two edges to be selected so I'm gonna select them all except this two try to bridge again okay this is better now the other step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this quads here and do the magic trick and it's extruding like this cut then select and extrude this is the stuff I just told you about make sure you uncheck the constraint to a mesh to avoid attaching to the board so I can manipulate it and control 
what I need. Let me just create a small creasing and then extrude. Okay, now I have the ability to do whatever I want it. Now I'm gonna take this until here. Just some nodes. Okay, and I have something here. Let me just fix this curve here. I'm gonna do this full part manually. I have ability to attach these edges to the port automatically. But, as you see, so I can just select these faces until I'm constrained to the scan of mesh and it's gonna be attached and take the the shape of this board. So, as you see, it's just attaching to the faces. If I just enable the zebra ring, it should be just barely touch it. But I'm not gonna use this because I just need um, I need it to be manually more to manually okay so as you see just throwing it because of the iPhone scan isn't that precise or it doesn't give you this smoothness like other expensive scans okay so now let's do this creases as you see I'm not gonna connect this with this one I'm gonna remove this line here insert edges and connect this until here and the same step here insert edges and until here Okay, so let's get the top view and let's adjust some stuff here. So this curve here is creased. Is do some crease here not too much because we just need this triangle from this bottom to be just precisely the same look but I can adjust what I want at the top because if this is a kit for a car or something like that so I can just adjust it however I need this is this triangle is more important thing to to just get the same exact look. I'm gonna crease this later, but I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna show you first how I can just fix this vert vertex. Okay. So once I'm happy with this, I'm just gonna crease this until something like this and the same here a little bit creasing and here it's just perfect so this is good for now so far so good once I'm just sure that the board is fully defined or semi-defined. It looks it looks perfect for now. I'm just gonna do small.
staying here. Do a thickness for it. Minus, I need it to be minus maybe two millimeters. Okay. And the other thing I can do now is just adjust it or edit it if I need. So this is the original part and it's great now. We can just adjust this a little bit here. Something like this. And let me just take it ahead up. Make sure it's non constrained. Remove reference and uncheck this. And I'm gonna pick it up here. So, as you see, now I, I have the full control and can adjust it whatever I need. So let's say I just need this to be a little bit like that and this one to be a little bit here. Let's hit convert first and see what we've got. Okay, so as you see in this is fully done. That looks so perfect. Okay, let's go back now and adjust this bottom board because it doesn't supposed to be like this. So I'm gonna select these. Maybe flatten them and adjust it a little bit like this. Okay, uh, let's just need a little bit again. So this triangle should be um, the bottom or the base, nothing behind it. And we should be done for doing the original shape now. I can now do an edit. So let's make a small edit here. I'm gonna subdivide the, the full part. Just subdivide it, subdivide again. And let me go do something on the tools. Option and sub push back. I'm gonna make the slider add up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this faces. Let me just uncheck the transparency. From here. And until here. Okay, now crease this. I'm gonna crease this maybe 45 or something. And doing another crease from here. Inserting these edges here, here. and connect these points. So, next I'm gonna select this inserted edges and crease them. Both a little bit, maybe 33 or 30. Now after you taking this, I'm gonna take this full faces 
and try to do some a little bit adjustment. Let me just fix this. I don't want this to be creased. And I'm gonna do a small adjustment here. Inside and give a little angle. Let me go to the mesh tools and, sorry I'm in dialogues advantage trade option and I'm gonna change the position of this gizmo something like this so I need the angle to be Like that and look the sketch rate or the gizmo then go static move objects so it's gonna still like that and give you the correct angle so this angle is good Okay, so this seems to be great. Now from the behind, I'm gonna make this a little bit wider in order to avoid that zero sickness or something like that. Let's take this basis also. Okay, let's see the results. Perfect. I maybe need just to be to, to, to get this a little bit. Um, let's go back to dynamic and close this. You move this a little here. Enabling the HDRI to see. What are we doing? Red. And okay. We have these distortions. We need to fix them. Give an angle that you fully see this distortion to fix. So I'm gonna try the first method and grace um, two or something. So that's supposed to fix the problem. Let's try five. Mm. Okay, let's apply the constrained move try to fix this curve so it's now amazing the other one I maybe can just crease this two or something this edge and this guy here to maybe five or something I'm gonna just manipulate the creasing until I get a good results Okay, now move this with constraint move a little to get correct curve. 
So now it should be good. Let's see if I just grease it this or manipulate this a little inside. Maybe from here. I'm gonna crease this 33, insert another edge, side it, and move a little bit. Okay, let's see if I just did the reverse. The reverse. I don't know actually. Okay, I just like it like this. So as you see, everything looks great. Let's hit convert. Now we have this full solid body and it looks pretty nice. 